In the last 12 months, 912 children were removed from Allen County homes and placed in foster care. And their average stay will be 19.6 months. 73% of those children were removed because of child neglect. Research shows that in child neglect cases, if parents had the support that they needed, most of the children would not be removed from their parents' custody. Hi, I'm Bonnie Doolittle, founder of New Mercies Ministries, a volunteer-driven organization that hosts vulnerable children to keep them safe and out of foster care. We recruit volunteers through churches, and these volunteers provide extended family-like support during a time of crisis. Too many families are isolated and don't have a safe place for their children to go during their time of need, causing parents to have unsafe, make unsafe decisions for their, their kids. Our screened and trained host families provide a safe home for children while our coaches work with parents to help them set and meet stability goals so that they can be reunited with their children quickly. Our reunification rate is 99%. We step in before neglect occurs and we are focused on connecting parents to the resources and relationships that they need. We are proactive in keeping children safe and families together. Parents in need contact us and we connect them with a circle of support that works together to accomplish goals such as securing housing or finding a job. There is no limit to how long a child can stay with the host family, but our average is three weeks, and there is no cost to the parent or the taxpayer. By mobilizing churches, we are helping families to get plugged in, and many of our volunteers have remained supportive friends and with the parents long after the hosting ends. Parents can self-refer, but we often receive referrals from agencies, shelters, hospitals, doctor's offices, and schools. Although New Mercies is new, we have over eight years experience and relationships in the community from previously operating in a national organization that closed its doors here on June 30th. On July 1st, we stepped out on our own to become a local organization and have recently filed for our 501c3 status. We've also retained all of our partners, volunteers, and staff. To date, we have supported 897 hostings. Why do we need soup funding? Well, because we're growing like crazy and we need software to help us manage those relationships effectively. Our volunteer and donor network has grown from a handful of volunteers in 2013 to almost 500, including 50 host families and 12 family coaches. Volunteers and donors have seen our impact and the way our model creates stronger networks in the community and their giving of their time and money tells us that people are excited to be a part of what we're doing. Yet the need remains great and there is so much untapped pot potential for engaging more volunteers, donors, community and church partners to strengthen families and love on our community's most vulnerable. We need to implement a relationship management system to improve our use of data collection, engaging donors and volunteers, which will allow our partners to, and volunteers to reach their maximum impact. Soup grant funding will offset the cost, the estimated $1,400 cost for the software needed to manage those relationships effectively. The need is great, but with your help, we can meet it. The last eight years have taught us that this model works in Fort Wayne and that the growth needed requires improvement of our systems. The momentum is here, and by better managing these relationships with our volunteers and donors, we can make a greater impact, and together we can strengthen Fort Wayne families.